what's going on Dragon Ball Super players welcome back to another Crossroad TCG uh, video this is Joey this is gonna be kind of a different type of video uh, we're gonna be theory crafting set for Demigra this is actually uh, a deck I'm gonna build for my, for my good friend Larry uh, shout out to Larry he's a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh player and trying to get him to play Dragon Ball yeah he wants to play mono black so we're going to get into it so I've got the card list pulled up here for all the black cards in the game so I can kind of uh, go through those and see what I want to put into the deck, kind of talk about what I think about them. Uh, I think Mono Black has a couple weaknesses. I think it's got a hard time kind of staving off aggro, which I think is going to be very strong come set four. Um, doesn't have a way to counter Victory Strike um, very easily. And in a Demigrod deck, because of his ability, um, you have to mill three black cards in order to draw a card when he attacks. So you really kind of do have to play mono black in that sense. <clears throat> so you can't really tech things like Mafuba or Crusher Ball. Um, so we're going to try and make this mono black deck list for my good buddy Larry. Shout out to Larry again. All right. So we're at the card list here. We've got uh, some other leaders we need to worry about. SS3 Bardock Power Unleashed. I don't think we really need to worry about these guys because it's more of a side deck kind of package for clearing things like apes I like power over seeing time I might come back to that unrelenting assault unnecessary in this deck we're not going to play that whole package we do need our super combos got four of those in there Back to the list. What do we got? Uh, we don't really need to be concerned about stealing stuff. I think we're gonna. Oh, we're definitely gonna play a lot of uh, mass sands and blah blah. I think this card's super cool, especially in mono black. It replaces itself if you play enough targets. It's really strong. I don't think we're gonna be going to this Xeno Evolve. Five's kind of steep with the format I kind of see coming up. So I. I think we're gonna start with the three drop mirror because it's kind of just good on its own realistically start with that see how it goes I thought about foo earlier today I think I'm gonna go with a two of for right now gotta play the SPR it's looking 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 nice and crisp I think it's just a solid finish if we get there this deck's charging black energy regardless. I don't think it's a big deal. Shunshun was so cool when it first came out. Just having that ability to be a giant blocker against uh, red and blue. But blue's got enough spot removal and blue leaders usually play green, I feel like. Not usually, but it's pretty popular. I think red blue is... like SS, Basically SS3, red yellow is pretty popular right now. Dark Plot. This card actually might be pretty good with the new Bardock that has critical. I think we'll just add four of those for now. And we'll uh, chip away as we need. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop to, we'll drop it to three. Because I really don't think really don't think this card is gonna be necessary as a four of no matter what happens. This is the other awkward part. We don't have a very very great negate to play in black. Times judgment in my opinion it's pretty mediocre I mean I guess it's you know their best way to stave off aggro and if we're playing on a black it should be enough oh there's our leader it should be enough to basically you know if we're drawing plenty of cards and leave energy open but I feel like it's just making us play sub parley and I really don't think it's that great but it's the only negate black in play so I think we'll play at least three of it so now that we're at the leader might as well go over it in depth again so when this card attacks the leader card play three cards top of your deck in the drop area if all the cards are black, draw one card. So you really kind of have to play mono black to get his effects off. Unless you want to just mill, but I think drawing the card is probably going to be worth it. But we'll see when we test the deck. <coughs> when you realize it 4 or less, you may choose up to 2 of your energy. Switch them to active mode. I really am a big fan of the Awaken untapped 2 leaders, but uh, if this drew 2 on Awaken, it may have been more worth to not just play mono black, but... Now we have this guy having the unique ability of Wormhole. Um, so you can activate Overrealm and Dark Overrealm up to a total of two times per turn. So that doesn't mean that does not mean you can do 
two over elms and two dark over elms. There's actually a Facebook post recently that um, where some gentleman emailed Bandai and got confirmation on that, even though their email system is as wonky as it is. But that's kind of what we're gonna go with. So you can do a combination of over elm and dark over elm. You can do two over elms in a turn. You can do two dark over elms. You can do one of each, but you cannot do a total of four with this leader. Typical when he attack draws a card, activate main. This is actually really cool. Choose up three black cards in your warp, place them in your drop area. So it really just promotes you, the, and gives you the ability to get that off twice in a turn. This new mirror leader is cool, but not going in the deck, so let's not worry about it. This I like this Bardock a lot because it's a pseudo Jiren, but for the same cost, you can, for one more card in your drop, you can spot remove pretty much anything. Um, well, only a five drop or less, but I don't know if this Bardock's necessarily going to be worth it yet. Lens charge. I and mean, it won't get any effects off Dark Plot, so we'll skim over it for now. We're not going to play Vanillas, so we don't need to play that Trunks. This card's cool. Um, I don't know. We're definitely not going to be playing a lot of... Definitely not going to be playing a lot of uh, extra cards in the deck, so this might be worth playing... Even if it is in conjunction with Time Patrol, because they're just generally good over realm cards, and it kind of sucks that it can't stack the top of your deck. But uh, Cronoa is just a draw one in black decks. That's kind of cool. I think we're going to play Cronoa just because it's generally good. When we come across some uh, Shigesh decks, they're going to be sad, we're going to be happy, and still going to just draw us a card. So it might just be worth it in this deck. Now this is the guy. This guy is really cool, I think. Uh, Dark Overrealm, so it'll stick around. If you Overrealm them, cost 3, which is fine. You're basically cheating out a 4 drop for 3. 20k, 3 drop. When this card attacks, opponent just one of the cards from the of the warp. That's really, really cool. Uh, and if it's a battle card, you combo with it. Wow. And... I mean, you know, they obviously have the choice of what they're going to get rid of, but if they don't have a whole lot of choices, uh, it could be really good for us as the Demigrod player because they're going to have to, I don't know, maybe get a super combo, which probably only works in the mirror match. Let's card attack. So your opponent chooses one card from their hand, so it's a warp. Yeah, we'll play this guy. Probably has a four of. Now, there's, an, there's another version. I believe this card is the same exact thing. Except it's an over realm, so it doesn't stick around. So I don't think it's going to be too worth it to play. Um, we'll, we'll leave it out for now. This card is kind of cool, I guess, against like things like Buhan. Um, definitely only sideboard worthy. I probably wouldn't main it. One drop, <coughs> 25k double strike. Uh, Fu is just better. We'll definitely be adding food to the deck to draw to. Umbral Invitation. Larry. It's Larry coming from Yu-Gi-Oh! Loves these Toas because they're basically just a change of heart. And of, of course that card is absolutely OP in Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's a little different. Uh, a little bit different in this game. It's really There's not really that many low drop cards you want to take unless it's a veggie mirror match. Uh, play this card using over Realm. I don't think it's worth it to untap the battle card for one energy and only hits two costs or less. Definitely not worth it. A 20k two drop. It's kind of cool, but probably doesn't do enough. You attack or combo with this card, get some stuff back from your warp to your drop. I don't know about that one. Dark over on three. She sticks around, which is nice for free. Uh, it's actually perfect off our leader swing. When you play this card, one demi gras. Oh yeah, we are gonna be getting you in the deck at four, I believe. Poutine. Well, what is this? Uh, Ex evolve. Bad boy dude. Dark over on seven. Except so. F okay, see so at the warp seven. Tap four. All right. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to their warp. 
Then choose up to one battle card from your warp with an energy cost of four or less and play it. Oh, this card is actually super cool. Totally playing that. I don't think it's on the card list either yet, so we are fine with skipping that. Now this poutine is a, f a one drop blocker, which is cool and all, but I like its ability to mill too because I feel like some of our drops are just going to need the extra ability to mill. I think we're I think we'll include her for now because I really think that ability to mill extra cards is going to come up. Yes, this is our self awakener. So when you play this card, if your leader card is black, you may choose up to two cards in your life, add them to your hand. If you chose to add one or more cards to your hand, choose up to one of your fun battle cards. So this is basically the mass sand that um, allows you to awaken and do basically do the same exact ability, but it's an overwhelm. But this one will actually stick around, which is nice. Um, and you have the op option to take two life or one and get the same effect, right? Yeah, so. That's really nice because if you need to take the extra life to really awaken, you can do that. I, I'm really happy they kind of <coughs> released a card like that for all the colors. Wow, I'm already at 49 cards. Holy crap. We're going to have to start trimming some stuff down. This card is definitely going in the deck. Um, yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm really happy they released a card like this for every color. Uh, I'm really excited to actually mess around with Soul Striker um, because they have a card like that as well. Really, really excited about that. Dimensional Banner Shifu. I think this card's really strong. Um, just spot removes any battle card, no matter uh, what uh, what energy cost it is, which is really really strong. I like to like when I'm playing green, I like to play two of the promo Gohans. When I'm playing blue, I like to play two Beerus. I just feel like it's really important, especially with Victory Strike being so good. I just feel like it's really really important to be able to hit that. Alrighty, play some Tokyo. Nah, I don't think we need to play Toki Toki. It's a little overkill. Seasoning Arrow. Draw card Demi Craw. Yep, basically uh, helps you go for game and allows you to do the same combo ability, which I think is really, really cool. That'll start out as a four of. Dark coming on. Don't need to be concerned about it. This card, man. Minus Kill Zone. This is this card is I really don't like this card. Uh, I get it; it's cool because people think Cold Bolas is the best card in the game. It's an amazing card. Cold Bolas is super good. It's not the best card in the game. I can't think of any deck that auto loses to having one thing Cold Blood Lusted. Uh, the only thing this thing does is make the game more like solitaire, and I I feel very I don't want to be naive and say that Cell Chain's gonna come tier zero because. People were afraid of that after the Mecha errata, and it didn't come to fruition. But this card is like, it's like Bandai is trying to make things like Cell Chain, Tier Zero, that and like Chantek Zeno, which I think are just two degenerate combos. Uh, but if I was to put this deck together in real life, it would definitely be in the sideboard. Uh, the fact that it replaces itself is also just insane. Um, different leader, we don't need to play. Uh, Killer Sword Trunks, I don't think we're going to play this package. Doesn't seem super great. Um, Encroaching Threat Mass Sand, I do think is really, really cool. I like the ability to attack uh, active battle cards, but uh, I think this might just be sided, if anything, because we're going to play a lot of spot removal in the deck, so I don't think we really need to worry about it. Time Patrol is cool. Do I prefer that over the other Kai? Um, you know, I don't know. I think we'll keep the Kai and we'll see how the Kai tests out. Mass Sand, this is going to definitely be a 3 to 4 of. I think Veggies are still going to be very strong. Come, uh. Why can I not spell Saiyan? Oh no, I can't spell. There we go. Alright. 
This guy is... I want to say four, but I feel like it can clog. With that leader ability, it probably... I think four will be okay. Especially if we want to hit off our Toa. This card is... Eh. Gold Sarcophagus from Yu-Gi-Oh! Not that great. Time Ruler Toa. Sideboard, if anything. Mirror is cool. This deck doesn't actually have any access to crit. Which... Is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, we're playing cards to rip our opponent's hand apart, so it's probably fine. These cards are very mediocre, don't need to play them. We're playing the three drop version of this guy. Yeah, Scientist Foo, it definitely needs to be in the main board. I want to say three is a good number. We're going to have to cut so many cards. Oh boy. This card's terrible. This card's sideboard worthy of anything. This card, we're playing the, in my opinion, better version of it. This guy, the Desperate Onslaught Bardock. This is cool. When you're, he has permanent crit, which is really, really cool off of a uh, dark plot. I really, really like that. What's that guy's name? Desperate Onslaught. I really like how he mirrors uh, Rapid Onslaught Goku. Just like similar card art and just like a similar name. I think it's really cool. <coughs> wow, we're going to have to cut a lot of cards from this deck, but that's okay. Alright, let's see if I missed anything with Demigra. I don't think there's another SR, but just want to make sure. We're playing that. That's a leader. Don't need that. Don't really think we need that card either. Got an attacker combo with it. I don't think it's super worth. Cyborg. Playing it. Probably going to get dropped to at least three. That guy is still in the deck. Alright, so let's uh, order the main board. Take a look at what we're playing. This card's really cool. I think it's good at three. It's three drop. This card I'm sure is going to be fine at three. Might have to get cut down to two. Yeah, let's cut it down to two now. We got a lot of cards to cut. This guy is really cool because critical. And ah, oh, but he does not hit off of our. He does not hit off of our Toa. Wait, is Mira the same exact thing? Ah, uh, Mira is not permanent critical though. That is the problem. That is the issue at hand. That's why this guy's better off Dark Plot. Foo. Uh, I want to say this Foo is getting the axe. I don't think it's going to be worth main boarding because I don't think most games are going to go that far. Why is there eight of these guys? That is not supposed to be like that. That's actually very helpful. This card is probably going to become a three of. The blocker might still be relevant just because of Victory Strike. Just generally good. Overall card. Amazing overall card. Weird card. This card theoretically should be good. Maybe maybe it'll drop it down to a three of. See how it goes. Spring Kai, very good. Gotta play the super combo. This card seems very, very cool. This card is essentially a dark plot as well. I really like that. I really, really like that. Just gotta make sure it hits enough things in the deck. I think this is gonna be the main target. And the other demi -gras. Okay, I think it's I think it's warranted. I think it's good. Got that temporal darkness, time control Cronoa. Not sure if there's any reason to play this over the. Tr I'm not sure if there's any reason to play this at all, to be honest. I think this. I think you're getting the axe for now. Got to play three negates, in my opinion. Is this hitting enough? I don't think it is. Realistically, we are playing. What, eight targets for it? No, no, we're playing uh, 12 targets. Okay. And it searches our uh, awakening. Okay, I can I can live with that. What do I have to cut? Two more cards? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Two dark plot. Seems depressing. Uh, poutine, man. What are you doing? Nira is generally good. Fu is amazing. 
see this card is cool. It's a 10k pump. This theoretically stays off aggro. I wish this, eff I wish this effect wasn't... It's secondary effect wasn't only during uh, my turn. But it is what it is, I guess. This is the boss monster. Do we need four of it? Probably not. We'll, we'll at least start to test without it. Without four. I just feel like there's... I mean, Mass Sand does it enough. I feel like some, sometimes there's not enough metal in the deck, but... We shall see how it goes. We just need to cut one more card. I like that. Let's go cut one more card. I want to say Poutine to two. I think that's what we'll go with. So we've got 50 in the main deck. Save it. All right. Let's get in a game. Guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below about the deck. Uh, what you think could be changed. I'm sure it'll change by the end of this video. Gotta greet the uh, opponent. Wish I could type. Let's insert our OP deck. Alright, this hand is kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Send Poutine back. I think we'll keep one mass in. So my opponent is going first. We'll send that back, and I don't think Seizing Arrow is going to be relevant now. Oh, crap. I feel like I should have maybe kept the Poutine. Actually, no. I don't think it's super relevant. All right. Let's, what, five guards, six guards. Ooh, we got the cool Demigrog guy. Set out our life. Wish our opponent good luck. GLHF. And he's going to start. Ooh, Universe 6 SS3. Whoa, you drew it. Alright, looks like... No worries, man. Uh, looks like we've got Mono Red SS3, but a, a different take. Maybe it's also playing the green veggies, but it also may not be. Ooh, boy. Alrighty. Draw. Alright, what do we... Okay, I like that we have a turn one play. I like that a lot. I'm going to charge <coughs> Mass Sand because we have an extra one. I am going to start off with Toa. Let's look at the top seven, I believe, right? Top seven. Seven cards. We hit the Awakening Mass Sand. That's that's good. I like that. Shuffle, shuffle her up. This guy attacks. Mills three. Oh, playing against like the one leader. Don't want to attack. That's nah, it. Got to start milling cards. I really feel like this is the wrong line of play, but uh, we will see how they go. Draw one, because I milled all black. And guys, if you're wondering why I'm playing on untaps, because I'm a that doesn't feel like figuring out how to download Octagon. I kind of like the layout. I mean, I'm, of course I'm used to it, but I kind of like the layout of Untap. It's pretty cool. Now, do I want to drop this guy? I don't feel like I do. I'm going to pass. Other thing about black is there's like absolutely no energy manipulation outside dark plot. I kind of whoa, this guy's playing a vanilla. What? Oh baby, can you? Oh my gosh. No negates, sir. <coughs> no negates. Sure. 
this is where we turn up. Take the damage, but now he's going to awaken, so we are going to start pressuring. Which is technically fine. Play an overall deck. It sucks that it's not a resource I'm going to be able to draw, but it's okay. Tap one. He plays the 10k Khalifa and the Kale. Lead into lead. No negates here. Now we'll both get a resource, which is fine. I'm actually still going to be up in hand advantage. Not total advantage, but. Oh, super combo. That's nifty. I need to remember that it's live very early. I need to remember that. Alright, draw for turn. Hit X to untap our board. What are we going to charge? I think we're going to charge this Banisher Foo. I think that's what we're going to charge. This, I don't think it's going to be super relevant in this matchup. It sucks that this mass stand can't clear blockers. Alright. I kind of want to drop this Cronoa to draw a card. Draw one off the Cronoa. Got another Awakening Mass Saiyan, and we're at six life, so if he decides to stall us out next turn, uh, we'll be in pretty good shape. Alright, let's, does this have to attack the leader card? Of course it has to attack the leader card, but that's actually, that's actually fine. It's actually perfectly fine. Attack into a sister Goku. Leader effect. Mill three. They are all black, so we'll draw a card. Another Awakening Mass Sand. It's getting a bit cloggy. Drop area with these. Combo to Cronoa. Make it a 15k swing. And he will combo a Trunks out of his hand. And he actually did not untap three at the end of his turn. That was a, was a decent, decently large misplay by, by him. Okay, we don't have a Dark Plot play, so I don't really want to summon this critical guy yet. I can... I kind of want to leave him the Trunks so I can kind of make him make weird decisions where he wants to either... Uh... Ooh, that's really cool that he can't block this guy. I'm going to actually drop this guy right now. During turn, play with Overrun. Opponent may not combo with battle cards in their battle area. So he's going to have to completely combo from his hand in order to stave this off. I like that a lot. That's really cool. No combos. Let's see what he does. Taps are red. Combos the foo. Okay. I can dig that. This is just regular overall, right? Yes. It's kind of weird that it's uh where the heck is warp. It's kind of weird that it is a card that has a different overall than its energy cost. I wonder why they did that. It's a very good card, so I guess they wanted to make it slightly harder to drop. Sure. It's really nice that my super combo is live. That's really, really nice. Five more cards in your warp. Yep, this is just our... Ooh, I didn't play Power of Receiving Time. No negates, good sir. No negates. Combos, I'll take it. <coughs> wow, very, very cautious. Let's see. Uh, whoops, that's the text box. X, untap everything, draw a card, 
We will definitely be charging one of these Awakened boys. 110%. Okay. Oh man, I wonder how... If like, you overwhelm on your unawakened side and then you flip over to have wormhole. Kind of wonder how that works, but I digress. So I want to swing with, but I still will draw a card. I, w I still, I will still draw a card, but then I can mill, untap, and then technically take warp. Okay, I put cards back from my warp into my drop. All right, let's do that, I think. Let's go. What is he at? Four life. Let's go lead into lead. Leader effect. Wow, I'm getting low on cards in my deck. Play three. Draw one. Drop area. We'll turn it into a 15k to threaten the leader. I do have quite a few cards in my hand. That's nice. Okay, sure. He's going to get rid of the trunks. That's kind. I play it pretty similarly. I wouldn't want to uh, keep attacking with the trunks if it was going to put me up a lot lower life. So this guy. I will take one life and warp a battle card, which is really, really dope. Oh, I can play that foo, too. All right, let's get rid of Homegirl. Awaken, untap two, which is absolutely dope. Uh, alt face. So I have the ability to overwhelm twice, so I want to overwhelm now and then do it again. Let's go. Okay, we can hit the we can do the mirror, and then we can do mass saying. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I just don't know. Well, let's uh, let's swing on in and make a decision on the fly. Oh, topo. That's perfectly fine. Now I think our line of play has been a bit more solidified. Except maybe not because... Oh no, I activate leader ability. I think it's actually... Yeah, I think it's actually going to mess with our with our ability to overwhelm twice this turn. There's not much else I can play for once, right? We got, what, four in my drop? Is it up to three or three? Up to three. Leader ability. Definitely 100% getting rid of Topo. And really, the only thing we can get rid of is this Khalifa. I do want to threaten lead. He's very, very low on cards. And I... Uh-huh, okay. I like that. Let's do that. He's going to basically be forced to take that damage if I super combo into it. I don't think I can drop... I don't think I want to sacrifice three. Let's, uh... We'll just go into we'll just go into Kale. He's either gonna block for it to save it. Sure, he's gonna block. No combos. Trying to get him low on cards is not going super great. We'll warp her. We'll pass turn. I do have the two super combos, which is really nice though. Yeah, I just feel like it's going to be really hard to consistently overwhelm twice with this leader. Maybe it's just the main deck configuration, who knows. No negates.
Draw your card, brother. No combos. I shall. Am I at four? I am at four. I'll drop a 5k. <coughs> we got a few of those anyway. No negates. It's kind of sucky that he's drawing so much when I'm trying to mitigate his hand, but... I, I believe we will be comboing with this good sir to defend the damage. I want him to drop something a little bigger. Not a lightning fast, not a lightning fast hit. Not a, I'm just gonna pass after that. Nope, he's gonna tap three. Oh, wow. This card, wow, is he about to draw three? Oh boy, he's about to draw three cards. When this card's played using Utora or attacks, draw one card and it gains. So, what's her attack? I believe it's plus 10k. Wow, that's really big. Gates. Wow, there he's about to get a lot of cards off of that. That's that's really really unfortunate. 35k. Oh, let's do it. <coughs> Super combo draw card. <coughs> Super combo draw card. And a 5k. Man, that really sucks that he just replenished his whole hand off that. Alright. That one I will negate. That is way... Whoa, what the heck? Alrighty. I'm really happy that we're going to be able to clear that this turn because that thing is way too... Ooh, this is cool. I don't want to really tap out for it, though. Alright. We are going to play this Mass Sand. We are going to kill that Kefla. And he is still going to have so many cards in his hand. Holy crap. Alright. Let's swing. Let's get a card. I'm not really afraid of Nimbus, so it's fine. Oh man, Mass Sam loves this this game. No combos. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pick apart his hand right now. We're gonna get rid of this so you can stop fidgeting with it. Maybe I should have attacked with the little mass sand first. What the heck? This thing doesn't have barrier, does it? Oh, thank god, it doesn't have barrier. He's sad. Give him a little, a little sad face. Alright. Swing on in. <coughs> he takes the damage. Leader ability. Let's put three back. Doesn't particularly matter which ones. Uh, this is the one thing about black decks is that 
they don't typically have a bunch of great ways to replenish your hand except for Fu. Fu is really good at that. But the problem is that I didn't play on this turn. I had to get rid of that Kefalo. That Kefalo is going to just get him way, way, way too many cards. So I had to clear with the Mass Saiyan. Okay, I'm going to force him to get rid of more cards if anyone has attacks. I really feel like there's a Topo coming for this Mass Saiyan swing. I really hope there isn't, but I kind of feel like there is. Yep, there it is. 100% there it is. That sucks. Alright. Just gonna pass after that. What do we got? Four to his three. He's fully at six energy. No negates. Kinda just don't want his topo to restand. That's fine. We'll let it die. Not like if there's a whole lot we can work with. Man, this Temporal Darkness Demigraw is really cool. It's very, very cool. No negates, sir. This other Demigraw seems like it's going to help us push for game real, real hard, though. Uh, no combos. I think we'll just take it. See what we get. One drop locker. That mills. Not bad at all. I think the mill. I think the mill is actually just going to be really key. Five. Hard summons the Kefla. That's not good. No negates. Dual attack, right? Yeah. It's big. It's so big. What, so it's, she's going to be 30k? Yikes, man. Yikes. This is not good. Double strike range is very dangerous. It's like, I can defend. This is a very tough spot. I'm, I think I'm just going to have to defend out of it. And push back for game on his, on his next turn. Yeah, I think I have to do this this way. Three cards in hand. It's, a, it's not good. There's, n there's no way I'm comboing out of the next one. <coughs> wow, Mono Red just got insane. This card is to to draw two. Maybe not, maybe not because it draws two, but because it gets so big, it just, like, seems really good. Can you do that? Does she count as both? I cannot read what she says. Kefla. Kefla. One, two. I don't believe you can summon that for free. Realizing his mistake. Okay, now that that's all sorted out. Drop turn. What are we at? Two life. Man, that is that is pretty sketch. All right. Charge one of these because we have another one. What do we have in grave? Three cards. Not a whole lot, but 
let's let's look at the warp. We kind of have to game him at this point, I believe. We have one of the demigrods there. That's really nice. I think we just have to go for game. That kef that kefla is so strong. We'll have a we'll have a blocker. That is something we will have. Right. Yeah, mill two if your leader's demi graf. Okay. Let's uh let's swing in with demi -Gra. Let's draw a card. No combos. Waste of 5k. Man, the fact that this big demi does not... The fact that it doesn't have double strike or anything is, is kind of unfortunate. Let's put three back. So we have eight now. Tapping out to play this guy feels so bad. Uh, warp that. Uh, play this card, one of your points bell cards, and sense their warp. So we, we deal with the Kefla. That one bell card from my warp with a cost of four or less and play it. I do believe we're going to want to get this guy that rips cards out of my opponent's hand. It's quite unfortunate. I'm not going to be able to game him this turn. damage. It's pretty big. It's two life. It's got 30k. Man, I wish this thing was double strike really bad. Topo, what's up? Yeah, that pretty much seals the deal right there. What's up, Danny Cheat? That's not a very wholehearted name. Danny Cheat. Really hope you're not a cheater, dude. Another SS3. Yikes. <coughs> Roll the 12. Yay, I get to go first against SS3. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Draw a 3. I think we'll keep the super combo. I think we'll also keep Mass Saiyan. Seasoning Arrow is... Oh. I haven't really had the chance to use it yet, but it didn't seem super great for the situation that I was in last game. Dark Plot would have been very cool to see at any point last game. Okay, I got a turn one play, I like that. Good luck, have fun, sir. Unknown bear, welcome back. Yeah, boy, you too. Okay, we will charge the masked boy, because we have two of them. 
play the cantrip. It does not matter that we're not playing against a shoot Gesh deck. Because she just plays herself, so she is basically a boo for black. I'll pass off of that. Now with SS3, even though he's going second, he's basically going first because he's gonna be an energy ahead of me on his on his first turn when I went first, which is pretty nutty. I don't think SS3 is broken by any means. I think it's relatively simple to not simple, but it's there's ways to definitely play around it. Oh baby. Buhan's in the building. This deck's explosive. This deck is very, very explosive. <clears throat> All right, good buddy, good pal. What? You're not going to do anything. Alright. Draw. I think we'll charge one of these demigraws. This is, yeah, I think I think SS3 might just be an unfortunate matchup for this deck because you have to attack to get your things off and the typical strat against SS3 is to stall the crap out of them, make them awaken themselves. But with if I want to do anything with this leader, I need to really swing and draw cards and mill cards. We got a Fu, a Mira, and a big Demigra. <coughs> no combos. My good sir. I don't even necessarily feel like rushing to awaken him is good either. I'll just have a ton of cards. And if I... Oh, I can always combo the Cronoa next turn. And then mill three, I'll be able to play this Demigraph. For f yeah, okay. I think we'll drop the mirror. make him ditch a card. Doesn't seem like there was much strategy behind that. Oh, he drops the big boy. Interesting, interesting. Well, rushing him does not seem very good. We'll just warp it. That's what we'll do. We'll put it. We'll put it on him to awaken himself. Charges a super combo. That cannot be good for his hand. But he's not awakening, which is probably good for me. That evolves for two red over any boo, which in this case is that boo right there. Interesting. Interesting. He will have a Buhan next turn. If I can't clear that Boo, that's not good. And to get cards, I have to attack into lead. Mill three, four. I mean, my super combo is not live yet. Uh oh, that's not good. Got to charge here. Got to charge another Demigra. Even though this leader swings and draws cards, we're so low on cards. Because Overrealm is just kind of like that. We have to we have to awaken him here. We we need cards. Otherwise we're just gonna We're gonna get ran over by a giant boy. Mass sand, another mass sand, and a mira. We're gonna draw one.
Do I want to combo here to get that into play and swing again for 20k? Make his hand smaller. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess we have to. Otherwise, I don't really have another. I do have another overall play technically. Yeah, that's what. That's fine. No combos. We'll just drop the Mira. Make him ditch another card. Our super combos will be live. We will survive. We will then pro probably play Demigra for three. Hope my rambling makes sense to the viewers out there. But this way we don't have to tap out to play this Demigra. We can make him ditch a card. Get another swing in. Drop Cronoa so that he can't just like punch over that with a giant Buhan. And our super combo is live, which is really nice. Uh, we will combo the Cronoa. No combos. He's gonna have to pump something to save this. I have a feeling his hand is not that hot. We're still at eight life. All good. My untap lags all the time. Alright, so we've got eight in our warp. Our super combo's live. Let's see what he tries to do here. I can't Im I can't imagine I'm not getting a Buhan dropped on me. He's probably got a plethora of big Gohans in his hand. He's gonna swing first. No negates, good sir. Very unfortunate that his thing seems to be lagging. He's gonna play a one. Ooh, he wants to put a Buhan back and neg himself cards at the same time. Definitely not worth it, in my opinion. I don't know. I usually don't play these, like, unit absorb boss monster decks. But it's just a neg one. It does And this game is full of pluses. But I guess it does fix your, fix your uh, whole setup. Curious why he would tap the red instead of the blue. I'm assuming his deck needs more reds to operate. There's the evolve. Man, the fact that they made Union Absorb able to miss is quite a conundrum. You can like it. It doesn't egg you cards out of your hand, and he's he's going to choose the miss. He's going to get the other Gohan under there to get more effects. He's going to choose to miss again. Now is he going to put the barrier under there? Yes, he's going to put the barrier under there. This matchup's got a lot harder, that's for sure. Man, I really don't know if I can clear that guy. I feel like it was kind of greedy to put both Gohans under there. Like he's there's none of my battle cards is attacking. So it'll put me from seven to five and then five to three. Uh no negates, good buddy. No negates. I'm surprised he didn't give it double strike. Okay, so I'm not going to get pressured as fast as I thought I would, which is nice, so I'll just take it. Definitely just going to take it. The real, the real scary part is just how much that, 
that Buhan can get defended. Like once he untaps three at the end of his turn. Coercion, Topo, the restand to negate with Vados that some Buhan players play. Maybe he won't even attack at all. Yeah, he's not going to attack at all. Definitely not a bad move. I cannot fault him for that. That Buhan is going to be a thorn in my side. For sure. Do I need to awaken here? Or do I need to play a slower game? I can swing this Demi Gras. Does this only work when it attacks leaders? No, it would have been nice if he had tapped out with his Buhan. That would have been actually really, really great. Okay. We're going to swing with Demi Gras, activate his effect. We're going to draw one because all we play in this deck are black cards. <coughs> Two Toas and a Dark Plot. That's okay. Drop away with you. I think we need to make this a lethal swing. Well, not a lethal, but a threatening swing. 15k. I think I think that's going to be the good thing about overall in this matchup is that it's going to prevent him from having easy things on my board to swing with or to swing at rather. We've got five in warp. Five in drop, sorry. None of our stuff is going to stick around. Well, we can drop drop this big Bardock. Well, yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's drop this Cronoa. Let's draw a card. We got a negate attack. That's nice. It's always good. Now, if he negates the attack of this Bardock, I'm going to be kind of sad. Because then I can't combo away the Cronoa. But we gotta gotta force it out, I guess. Hopefully uh he's got the topo. That is that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. He has the topo. Okay, so we're going to pretty much have to end turn there. Yeah, yeah, we have to. The nice thing is, though, that he won't have, I mean, he absolutely has access to Kefla, but he probably isn't playing it, which is pretty nice. Because I can actually force him to use cards, and I don't think he can so easily get them back. Except Buhan, if he chooses the ability unleashed, Gohan to copy, he'll get cards back. But then he won't be really pressuring my life, which is fine. And he's going to swing at my leader. No negates on that. He's going to draw. I'm definitely going to combo away this Cronoa, so it's just not easy Buhan bait. I'm going to combo away the Cronoa and still take the damage. Because I don't want him to have easy pickings with his Buhan. Three super combos. I like it. I do hope he decides to get greedy with that Buhan. But I would not doubt him having another Topo. Would not doubt it for a second. Tap four. Is he going to play a hit? Oh, I feel like a... Yeah. That card's really good. That is just incredibly unfortunate. That card is so good. That is definitely one of the cards in this game that you just plop down and 
Reap the benefits with no drawback whatsoever. Okay. Both super combos. Makes a lot of sense. Now when do I get those back? At the end of my opponent's next turn. Rip the dream. Let's not keep my hand revealed anymore. He's got a lot of pressure showing. This is not very good. No gates. He's going to try and whittle me down. And I wonder if he'll pump into it. He will. He will pump into it. Untap a red with the trunks. That is still a lot for me to combo out of. Yikes. That is a lot for me to combo out of. Uh, 20k. And then t uh, two more. It's just, yeah. I'm, I'm going to take it. going to take it. Don't have too much. I do have two negates, though. I can stave off both boo attacks if he decides to kind of get greedy with it. I kind of forgot. If hit dies, do I get my cards back? Oh, that's the wrong card. Negate the first boo attack. Let's see what he does. Topo. No negates. Still so big. What the? Oh, man. He's... Yep. Yeah. He is going to make it big. And then he's... Man, if he has the evolve boo, I'm going to just lose, to be honest. All right. I feel as though for that reason I need to combo out of this. Draw one. Another negate. That's kind of cool. It's not going to really be helpful this turn, but... So he's going to be 30k. Uh, I feel like I'm going to have to awaken here. Uh, kind of sucks. Awaken... So we're 25 to his 30. Well, this, this doesn't ignore barrier, does it? That would have been so cool if it did. Uh, whoopsies. Alright, he's going to go for the second attack. Like I said, I really just think... I need to take these two cards just to get more options to kill him with. Uh, single strike, actually. I'll take the single strike. Wow. No bigger boo. Pretty surprising, to be honest. Yeah. This... I don't think this is going to go very well for his people. Just don't see it in the cards, but we'll uh, we'll go for it. Effect draw card. Oh man, yeah. Make him waste the 5k, and then it's just. There's not a real way I can put enough damage on board, realistically. It's just not. A mass in here would have. A mass hand here would have actually really potentially sealed the deal if he doesn't have a topo in his hand. 
I just don't have a mess in right now. If I had the mass sand, I would I could combo more into it and then realistically try and because it is low on cards. So the mass sand with a five ten fifteen a thirty five k mass sand might have won the game there, but it's not going to do it here, folks. Whoops, yeah. Well, I got Demigrow's effect to re restock my drop area. It's not really going to do a whole lot. And I think I'm just going to have to end turn and get my cards back from hit. It's two super combos, which is really nice. Um... The fact that I tapped out for three, though, is very unfortunate. Because I'm only going to be able to use one of these negates this turn. But I, don't, I think it's a moot point anyway, because he has so many attackers. Charge that boo for the six energy. Let me have it, fella. Let me have it. Dropping another hit here would just be... Absolutely insane. Really would be crazy. And gates. Let's see if he forces me to take this. Combos, I will have to jump block that. Here comes the hit. It's a big boy. No gates. Even though it's lethal, <coughs> even though it's lethal, I kind of have to save the negate for the Buhan. I have to take my chance at comboing out of this hit anyway. 25 or not oh okay 25 we've got matched and chump blocked <coughs> tap 5 for the barrier double strike boo. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, he's just he's just like ensuring game. He's dropping that boo to ensure game by just taking the life. No negates. Good sir. Does he gain power for that? Yeah, he's 30k. He's just as big as the other one. No amount of negates is going to win me this game, people. Good game. We're going to scoop it up. That game is over. Alright. So that's two games of the deck. I think it's cool. I think it definitely needs to see some change. I think Dark Plot... I didn't draw Dark Plot, but I think it would have been very cool at most points of the game. That's definitely going to go up. Uh, Dark Control Demigra... Bump it down to three for now. This card is really cool. I wish I could have summoned it more off Dark Plot. This card is just for niche situations, but I feel like it's necessary. Mass Sand is really good. This card was not very good. I think for now it can get cut, but I just feel like I feel like the problem with this deck is that there's not enough ways to mill 
like, you really, I mean, I, it's weird. I guess mass sand is restricted to the same thing, but realistically, you're only milling, um, so often to turn, like, three, three a turn, and mass sand as well. But the thing with Demi Gras, which I feel like I, I played some bad matchups, I had to attack to, I had to attack leader to, um, get my, my, my system going, but, uh, that was a that was bad in the case of me playing against Super Saiyan three Goku because I awaken them for them I awaken them for them and uh, that you know puts them way far ahead of me. So yeah, this deck I think is really really cool. I really I think Mono Black is a cool concept. I just need to uh, do a little more theory crafting and testing. If you guys think of anything that uh, could help the build or anything I just completely overlooked for whatever reason. Please leave your ideas down in the comments below. Help me make this deck for Larry so that he starts playing Dragon Ball Super. And uh, that'd be really helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Uh, please let me know if you did, and I will gladly make more content like this. Uh, so yeah, please let me know what you think about the deck, and we'll see you next time.